this is our water heater and we have now this cabinet's built in we have insufficient service clearance in front of our water heater now insufficient service clearance in front of the water heater we do not have a safety pan underneath the water heater our gas piping coming to the water heater should have a sediment trap a drip leg to keep the impurities from getting into the burner. We have an electronic ignition, that's a good thing. But we don't have a sediment trap to protect our burners from impurities in the gas supply. No safety pan, no gas supply. We do not have... Yeah, we do. There's a carrying use manual over there. Okay. Now we saw in a previous video that our temperature pressure relief valve drain piping discharges higher than 6 inches from the ground over there. Well, what we couldn't tell is we couldn't tell that we don't have a safety pan we don't have a safety pan drain pipe our drain pipe in the same room as the water heater should have an air gap in it our temperature pressure relief valve should be replaced every three years this unit is five years old so should the um, um, sacrificial anode they're supposed to be replaced about every three years nobody does that but they're supposed to be our TMP is supposed to be insulated replaced every three years. Our water supply connectors should be insulated. Okay. Now we see a little bit of rust. Now is that rust five years old? Because that's a symptom of back drafting. It's a symptom of back drafting. So the exhaust isn't pushing all the way out through the roof. And so if it's back drafting then the noxious poisonous gases can enter the garage space enter the living space. It's just something to think about. So what do we learn? We learned that our gas, our water heater might be back drafting. We learned that our water supply connectors are not insulated. We learned that our temperature pressure relief valve is not insulated nor has it been replaced. We learned that we do not have an air gap on the piping in the same room as the water heater and that it discharges too high from the ground. We learned that we do not have a safety pan and drain line for the water heater, and we do not have a sediment trap for the gas piping. We also learned that this refrigerator is on. I say it's on because it's got a lot of stuff in here.